How's it going, everyone? It's your girl, Rocket Gal. Welcome to the August 1st, uh, 2024 Fate Channel. Um, so they're going to show the new uh, seasonal banner for August. They're going to show Claude's remix and stuff and some other mythic I don't fucking remember off the top of my head. So pretty interesting stuff. It's uh, 13 minutes. Let's get into it. Well, I guess 14 minutes. Anyways, summertime. Hello. Oh, is that the first time we've seen some... Some, some face stompers. Look at them toes. Everyone seems to be enjoying summer to the fullest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mind, let me just. Huh? I wonder what that mask is about. I wonder if we're getting like Hoshiden like dancing, uh, banner again. That could be cool. I really like that banner. I'm surprised they never brought it back. Honestly. So sit back, relax, and get ready for the I wish this wasn't so late in my time zone. You know. Um, uh, kind of tired, but I'm excited about this. Yeah, August first, twenty twenty four. Let's go. Come on. First up. All right. What is this about? Yeah, face celebrations. Let's go. I like a watery background shit. Very nice. I think we know most of this already from like data mines, but it's nice to know it's official now. Uh huh. For starters, all right. Login bonuses. Login for ten days. Ooh, tickets. I wonder what that's about. Feifei, that includes summon tickets too. Uh huh. Next up. What? Could could you could you elaborate, please? What? Yeah, these maps are so fun because they just give you orbs, and I wish they did this more often. But they're not going to. Each map available for five days. Pretty reasonable. And if you clear them all on both difficulties, you get two or uh, oh, never mind. Fuck. These tickets again. Oh my God! Ten plus ten is twenty. Holy shit. These are tickets you can use specifically in this Okay, that's event. nice. These are nice. I have During a lot of these units event, I'm missing. So, actually most of these most of the units I'm missing are in this pool. So, I'd be cool to uh to get these tickets honestly. Whoa, Fave! special rate summoning event is set to start on August 2nd. Ooh. Summon away. To September 1st. Wow, it's a pretty Next big window. Up, celebratory quests and Aether Raids quests. A Aether Raids? Aether Raids? Quests, yep, we already know these from Data Mind, but yeah, love to get another form of soul. Nice. Ooh, Some of these are so useless, I though. I love getting uh, the fucking coins. 50 coins. Mm mm. Delicious. Ah. And if you collect 500 All right, what is the cool new structure we're getting? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's cute. I, I like that one. That one's nice. How could I forget? We've got Grand Hero Battle Revivals and Related Quests. All right, let's see. All right, already plus 10 turn. Uh, it would be great to get uh, Lloyd. So Mafia might, might not be bad either. Even if you've done them before. Ooh. Next up, skill focus summoning event revival. Event revivals. revivals. We're bringing back twelve Let's see what is worth getting. You can summon a focus hero of your um, choice after summoning forty times during. I think the uh, event. the one with Fjorm and Rhea was pretty At decent. Last, that one might be pretty good. Least, we have a celebratory hero. Ooh, all right, let's see who is going to be on this banner. One. See, so hopefully some rear. Okay, nice. A tune's not bad. Here she comes again. Oh, no. Please, God, no. It's here to put the fear of God in you. Oh, okay. Maybe not the best unit in the world, but a pretty great fodder unit. And, you know, she's really not that bad. In, like, chaos season offense. You know, that rate is pretty decent, honestly, not gonna lie. And all these units are pretty good. Um, yeah, can't, can't, no complaints from me. 
The Leon one is a bit scary. I, I'm surprised they put Leon on there. Think again. Oh. You also get five first uh -oh. tickets to use for this Hero Fest just by logging in once during the active period. Oh, just sure once. Ooh. Well, that's nice. To add one of these coveted heroes to your barracks. Yay. Well, that's it for Phoenix I already have them, but a uh, great opportunity to get a Leon hey. if you didn't pick him up before. Uh, definitely worth it because so many even if he is a little not as good as he used to be, he's still pretty good. Ooh, Ooh nice background. Hey. This darkness makes me feel like quite the night owl. It's so I wish there was actual quiet. animation instead of just fucking hey, a background, that? though. Oh, okay, yeah, it, it must be a Hoshin you fireworks dancing space. summer festival thing. I hope, please, please. <gasps> Faye, yes, let's go! So oh, I'm God, are we bringing back Camilla? <laughs> Another Camilla. Let's check out what's going on over here. I, I'm, I'm fine with this. I miss this Faye. banner a lot, actually. Faye. Festivals. It would be cool to go to one of these summer festivals one day. And who are they bringing? And is that Mia? You it is! So Aw, look at that Faye mask. That's adorable. They need to make one in real life, honestly. That would go hard. Aww, Holy Mia. shit, what is... She that thing she's holding. I don't. Holy sure. And look at that giant cotton candy. Oh, it's cotton candy. Oh, okay. Grilled corn and candied God, grilled corn goes so hard. I kind of want some now. She looks wonderful. She looks great. When was the last time we got a Mia? Really I don't remember. Was it the young one? I guess. Uh, is that Cordelia? Oh, oh, it's Lucia. Long-haired Lucia. Okay, cool. All right, Path of Radiance. She's attending the festival in an elegant yukata. Yukata. That's that's Olympia how you pronounce it, yeah. And her wind chime and morning glory decorations. All right, I'm so assuming refreshing. she also has the don't activate your special thing. Hey, oh my God, that's Takumi! Oh my God, it's Takumi! Oh my God, we gotta put the plus ten in right before C. Why are you fucking kidding me? Fuck! <laughs> oh my God. Okay, well. Hoshido's summer festival is as expected. Wait, unless he's the demot. He might be the demote. Possibly. I Maybe. It was Leo. I don't think Leo's gonna be the demot. He, so he already has one. Cotted, Wait, but he? so does so does that Kumi. What the so fuck? Appropriate for someone from Nor. I just met Max Middleman. Why didn't he tell me about this? He didn't tell me about the tomatoes though. Like honestly, he did say like, "What is Leo's favorite food?" And I said tomatoes. I wonder if this was. This must have been it. Thanks, Max. Oh, boy, oh yeah. Looks nice, doesn't it? All right, it's either demo. Is he the fucking and demo? Of course, it's Takumi. How am I supposed to tell? A white yukata with a blue haori. I like the little oh, dragon plush he's got. Okay, so yep, he's a demo. Either the demo or the grail. All right, I guess I'm not totally already. dead. <laughs> so everything is a okay. All right, who's the oh, duo? Faye. It got so quiet. Is that another Makaya? Oh no no no, that's that's uh, that is time. Ivy I think. She's got the fastener. I reckon oh the shit! It looks amazing. <laughs> Oops! I really I mean, thought that was Ivy. It really suits <laughs> you. Okay, Nephany, cool. Wow, that's some good art. Too, that's a nice Sakura too. Oh, it's Nephany and Sakura. Wait, is this Nephany is Sakura the first Nephany unit to be a backpack element. twice? On her really it is, flowers. right? Because she was a backpack with Elise, and now she's a backpack for Nephany. Interesting. This is a little unprecedented. Oh my god, I love the animation from Nephany. She's just fanning them. That is so cute. <laughs> That's adorable. Okay, cool. He's a grown unit. I got enough grails. To get Takumi. Perfect. Plus 10. Easy. Let's go. Timidity trials. Timidity trials. You can add Takumi to your allies by earning points in the upcoming That is actually great art. I really like that. I like the little uh, plushy thing he's got. That's nice. That's awesome. The board looks so festive. It kind of sucks he's another bow unit. Team. I wish he had another Maybe weapon, sure. but that's fine. It's okay. Yay, Aw. So, how do I look? Um, 
Up next. Great. All right, let's see. Let's see. All the info you've been waiting for on the next version update. Hold on to those feathers, and I'll tell you what to look forward to. All right, August 6th. Let's eight. go. We're going to get Claude. I know step, we're getting Claude's remix and refine. Oh, the no. Team oh, will be most important. these look terrible. Next, a tough Can't say I'm a big fan. Oh, good. Front. That was so fucking Previously, easy. Honestly, I'm not even trying to like but flex. I'm sure you thought it was easy, too. This was so boring. You did it in like day one, and I was like, well, I guess that's it. I'm not really that hard, you know? Okay, this looks a little more interesting. Alright, Hero's Journey. A super underrated game mode, in my opinion. Mementos. Oh, wow. Okay. I didn't find this an issue, but I also have Fate Pass, so I don't... You'll be able to use them to unlock a total of six instead I, it doesn't really matter to me. Three is fine enough. Huh. I'll be able to add so many memento events to my collection. So many mementos. Are legendary Ooh, and okay, let's see what Claude's remixes. got. I'm really curious on this. The heroes you see here will make their oh, first okay, well. appearances in the upcoming remixes. Hey, look, it's Phoenix Master's younger brother. Also, yeah, Claude. Oh, yeah, Uller, I forgot Uller. They need to add more Crusaders, man. Seriously, as Crusader. Mythics. Or let's see my boy Claude. Oh god, Guidance 4? Fuck yeah, thank you, Faye! That is a great skill on him. As both him using it and for fodder. Uh, we'll read that later, I don't really feel like reading it right now. Um, okay, something about bonus effects, so maybe he's gonna be Prime-y? Prime-esque? Prime-y? Alright, her and her descendants. Tech speed with four, all right, all right. Oh, we'll read that later. Oh, what the? F oh, she's got potent follow 100%. Interesting. That is cool. Okay, that is actually really awesome. Ooh, nice. Actually, pretty cool. I'm actually really excited about Oler. She's like plus three, I think. So that's not too bad. Oh, nice. These heroes will be added to the weekly revival roster. Yeah, get get them out of here. Let's see. Yeah, I'm fine with all of them being sent to the Shadow Realm. But will instead appear. Yeah, these none of these units are terribly great. Well, you know, Fjorm, Fjorm is like the only good unit here. Yeah, they're ascended units, Fey Fey. Ascended heroes will now start appearing. I'd like to summon an ascended hero myself. I mean, they're already a normal summon pool, Faye. No need to, like, freak out. Let me guess. She's gonna free pool. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Gambler's fallacy! Oh, fuck! It's a kid now! Damn it! I had to spark for this! Now, everyone will be able to select a hero to summon. After summoning 40 times in each weekly revival, too. Well, that's good. That's, that's actually not bad. It's about time. God damn it. Huh. Subscription not required for Fate Pass. Okay, that's good. Well, that's not too bad. All it's right. been a pretty decent that's Fate channel. Time. Honestly. These announcements sure were and I'm not just saying that just because like Takumi table. is back in the game. Oh, what is it? It's been uh, a little over a year since his last alt. Oh, um, And yeah, I can't wait. Mounted... Bow unit. I, I forgot what color he was. Oh my god. Back facing Fey? Interesting. Next time will be the Choose Your Legends edition. Alright. Thank you. Thank you so much, Fey. Alright. Let us... There's a lot to unpack here. So, um... Yeah, so this stuff is fine. New arena maps is fine. Those are good, I guess. Um, these tickets are nice. Uh, definitely going to be doing a uh, summoning session with just tickets later down the line. Um, this stuff, all I really care about is the form of soul. And I guess the dude's nice. Everything else is like, it's whatever. Especially that ephemera. That I don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> um, then we have these uh, Grand Hero Battle Revivals. Uh, I already have Pernet plus 10. 
Um, so, so fuck me, I guess. Uh, it'd be nice to get a uh, Lloyd. Um, uh, he's kind of a project. He's kind of like middle. I mean, I'm still like considering him as a project or not. The rest, I'm like, I don't really care. Mavier is actually pretty decent too, but I personally am not going for him. But uh, he's a pretty decent unit, and uh, yeah, there's the uh, free merch for you. Um, alright, so we got celebratory revival events, and now these are sparkable, I- I think? Or maybe they're always sparkable? I'm not totally sure on that. Um, but let me take a look here. None of them are really jumping out as like a, you must summon, or you must at least spark on this kind of situation. Um, huh, yeah. I think the best one is probably the Fjorm, Rhea, and Anonkos one. All those units have pretty decent skills. Uh, they're all savior units for that matter, so that one's pretty good. The Lucia one could be pretty decent as well because Lucia, uh, despite, you know, falling off a little bit, is still a decent unit when, like, fully, like, activated. She is basically unstoppable, so that one could be pretty good. Um... Alright, the Hero Fest. Uh, so this is a pretty decent banner. Uh, obviously, Leon, still one of the best units in the game, despite Breath of Life um, and the Nectar uh, thing from Haith Rune kind of screwing him over, but he's still pretty good. Um, Triandra is a pretty good unit. I think her dance gives charge, I believe. Um, she's, not, she's one of the weaker uh, new dancers that we got. Um, like, attuned and rearmed wise, I think she's probably the worst of them. She's even worse than, like, the, the latest, uh, what was her name? Uh, the pink-haired one. Oh, what was her name? Well, you know, the, the spring pink-haired fairy lady, I forgot her name off the top of my head. Uh, oh, Mirabilis, yeah, Spring Mirabilis, I think she's even worse than Spring Mirabilis. Um, but she's still pretty good. She's a tune unit. She's good for fodder duplication. Obviously, that's really, uh, really good. Um, Edelgard, uh, I, I saw that Joel put her as, like, the second most OP slash influential unit in the game of 2024 or something like that. Uh, I personally disagree. Uh, I think she might be top five, but I would not put her at number two. But she is still a pretty good unit. Um, and I do, <laughs> I do have some personal experience with, uh, this unit, and, uh, she also has a s special place in my heart because I basically ate a sock for her. So, there's that. And then, um, Ghoulveg, normal Ghoulveg, mythic Ghoulveg. She's a good fodder unit, one of the best fodder units in the game, honestly, for, like, mage nukes. Um, the unit herself is not the greatest, um, as a defensive unit because she has bad survivability. But if she survives, she can take out two units easy. But if she doesn't survive, she's just kind of useless. Uh, really fun in Aether Raid's uh, Chaos Season's offense, I find. But apart from that, um, yeah, not too bad. Just more fodder unit than actual units. For, <laughs> at least in my personal experience. So not bad. Uh, and 5% uh, focus uh, rate, pretty decent, pretty good. Um, okay, so yeah, this is the total that we're getting. 12 orbs. <laughs> LOL. Um, yeah, so let's take a look at... Yeah, so we're getting another Hoshiden, uh, summer banner, dancer banner, whatever. Are, are these dancers? I didn't even think about that. I don't think they showed- here, hold on. If we go to Takumi, it did show his, like, kit. He doesn't have dance, he has shove. So are these guys not dancers? Fuck! Okay, I was under the impression that they were all dancers. Uh, but I guess they're not, so... At least they- I feel like they would have shown us a while ago. They're not dancers, they're just- They're just kind of chilling, you know? Um, that's fine. Uh, we don't really know what they do yet. Uh, honestly, um... But Mia's- Mia's cool. Uh, definitely a fun unit. Uh, Lucia's cool here. She's got- Well, she's drawn by Suzuki Rika, so that's pretty hype. Uh, and she's also got the long hair. That's also really nice as well. Um... Not sure if she's gonna have the, like, nihility effect, uh, like the, the stopping the activation of specials, like her normal alt does. Uh, if she does, then this unit is definitely, uh, very much gonna be pretty good. Um, if not, then, I don't know, you'll probably pass her up. Uh, here's Leon, I get the feeling he is the four-star focus unit on the banner because, haha, dude. Um... But yeah, he looks cool. I like the animation with the tomatoes. That's pretty nice. Um, he might be a five-star unit, but I can't really tell from this. Uh, just be 
I guess he could be a five star just because his animation is so crazy. Like, I don't think he'd be a demo. I don't really know. Um, and then Takumi here is the Tempest Trial unit. Um, so fuck yeah. I basically won on that side. Wishful Spark, that's a interesting thing. He, he He's holding Takoyaki. I've had Takoyaki before. I think it tastes like dog shit. Uh, but that's just me. That's just me, okay? I, you know, if you like it, uh, you know, that's perfectly fine. But I I tried it. I think I might have had it undercooked, but whatever. Uh, anyways, so he, uh, he's he got a uh, st the stall game bow. So he doesn't have a perf. But that's that's fine. Um, you know, I always give him arcane. Um, whatever the whatever bows I have available. I don't think I have anything available. Um, so we'll see what stall game bow does. Uh, he's got some pretty insane uh, attack and speed though for a Grail unit. That's not bad. It's actually pretty good. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of curious what how he's going to be. Um, but yeah, he's he is a free. It's a free to play, uh, you know, no perf, perfless uh, unit, so definitely not meta by any stretch of the imagination, but definitely fun for us Takumi fans, so yeah, big W here. Um, and then, <laughs> I really thought this was Ivy for a second, doesn't that look like the fastener, like, on her head thing? Right? So, I don't know. Um, anyways, here is, yeah, Nefni and Sakura, I really thought it was gonna be a Sakura alt, but, uh, yeah, now it is official that... One unit can be a backpack in a duo slash harmonic twice, so uh, that's pretty interesting. Um, does it tell us? Does it, here, let me, let's just rewatch this a little bit. So I don't think it shows anything, anything about her kit or anything like that. Is this not an HD? Fuck. Okay, well that was all right. Okay, yeah, I don't think it shows anything about their kit. Here, hold on. Let's see if we can find anything. Um, oh, fuck. Okay, I think they're probably going to show it later. I don't think I'm going to react to that. Um, but she seems pretty solid. Solid. So, uh, maybe I will uh, react to it. Who knows? I'm working from home tomorrow anyways. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Anyways, uh, so next we have a new difficulty added to United Warfront. That's, that's fantastic because this game mode is so fucking easy. So short, it's a fine game mode, but it's just so fucking short, you know? Um, you know, the rewards are a bit small, but that's fine, I suppose. The game mode, if it's fun, that's what really matters. Uh, and it's relatively fun, it's just too goddamn easy. And I'm not flexing, everyone thinks this, I swear to god. Um, so yeah, and now for, uh, the, uh, Hero's Journey. Uh, now it takes only ten of these memory fragments to, uh, unlock a memory, so that's good, because, uh... Yeah, I don't know, 10, or 20 was kind of a lot. 10 is, I feel like 10 is a little too easy now, but I'm not going to complain about it being too easy. So, uh, yeah, that's cool. Um, Alright, so the mythics that are being demoted. Uh, wow, these take me back. Um, so, Odor. Uh, yeah, none of these units are very good. Uh, Ash is decent. Oh, I'm kind of curious what they're going to do for um, uh, Elamine. Uh, I did get that Sita for us. So that should be pretty cool. Thor, I have a plus 10. Uh, pretty excited about what they might do for her down the line. Um, and yeah, overall, there's a lot of women. There's only one dude. It's just Odor. And he's just a random dude. Uh, okay. Well, we'll see. Um, we'll see how these guys turn out. But right now, none of them are very good. Uh, Odor, I felt like came in, uh, dead on arrival. So, um, yeah. Uh, anyways, let's see what these, uh, refines and remixes are. So, um, so for Claude, this one I'm excited about because I have him at plus 10. He's part of my arena core and everything. So, he's getting Fallen Star 2. If unit initiates combat or Deep Star is active on unit, inflicts a speed, uh, defense minus 5 on foe. Unit deals, uh, plus X times 5, uh, damage, uh, for max 25. Uh, excluding uh, area effect specials and reduce damage from foes first attack by X uh, times three during combat for max of 15. X equals number of bonus effects on unit, uh, excluding stat bonuses plus number of penalties active on foe, exclu excluding stat penalties. Okay, so very much prime esque heavy. Kind of reminds me of um, a Chrom, a legendary Chrom a little bit. Uh, he also has some like stat 
swings based off like the effects I believe and uh yeah I feel like that is basically Claude's um like uh like identity in a phase so that seems pretty solid uh, and then if unit initiated combat reduce damage from foes first attack by 80% um and then deep star and gravity okay so that's not different um huh I can't say well you know 15 15 flat damage reduction is pretty solid 25 extra damage I guess some people call this true damage but it's not really true damage but sure 25 extra uh, bleh. 25 extra true damage is pretty solid uh, the problem is I don't as of now there's not any way to for him to like get those statuses on himself he definitely needs uh, like his team to help him um, I guess fallen star could help him um yeah I don't know I, I wonder if like a prime giving him prime a skill would be pretty good I'm not totally sure on that one um, but guidance four if you have extra claws which I actually do have ne one extra clod I'm pretty happy about that because guidance four is still pretty good um uh, why am I saying pretty good it's still really fucking good uh, so really happy about that um yeah so let's see what Uller is I'm actually pretty excited about Uller she's pretty cool um I wish I wish they did more Crusaders uh, as mythics, uh, you know, one day we're gonna get fucking Balder or something. That would be pretty sick. Anyways, she's got Yingbi Ascend Ascendant Plus. So this inflicts attack and speed minus five on foe and utilizes effects that guarantee foe's follow-up attacks and effects that prevent. Okay, so no follow-up. And also, if decreasing the speed difference necessary to make a follow-up attack by ten would allow a unit to trigger a follow-up attack, uh, trigger potent uh, follow 100% during combat. And then if Unit initiates combat, unit can make a follow-up attack before foe's next attack. Okay, so she's just hitting you with three hits in the face express. That's pretty good. Um, <laughs> love these, these enemies that they're fighting are so random. Like, obviously the units on her side are all part of the Yingli family, but then everyone else on the other side are like, who the fuck are that? Whereas Claude, we're fighting the slithering folks, you know? Um, so that's... <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I guess they just there's just not enough enemies uh, release part of Jogro yet. So, um, but yeah, that seemed pretty solid. I'm actually more excited about uh, Uller's uh, remix skill compared to Claude's. Claude's is it just gives you extra attack and extra. Uh, well, I guess the flight damage reduction is like pretty solid, and that being um, you know stacked with. Uh, deep stars. Uh, oh wait, I just realized he got deep star instead of fallen star. Oh shit! Actually, that's really good. I don't remember what deep star does. It's just like a better fallen star, I believe. Um, I don't remember off the top of my head. I don't exactly remember. I just remember it's just a better one, and it's the one that um, Wind Tribe Claude has, I believe. So, so that one. Okay, never mind. I'm actually more excited about this now. But uh, in order to get the full like. The full, I guess, uh, potential. Yes, full potential of his B skill. You need support. I don't think he's able to get five statuses on himself uh, by himself. So, uh, yeah, very much like you're going to want askers and stuff around him. You're going to want some supportive units around him. Uh, but overall, actually, they're, pr they're both pretty solid. Uh, I'm a little more interested in Uller's, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyways, uh, next we've got, yeah, the weekly summoning events, um, being, uh, added in, in these units being demoted to the four-star special, um, at least I think they are. Pretty sure they are. Yeah, it says so right there. Um, the only unit that I care about here for the most part is Fjorm. Everyone else is, like, not really good. Well, wait, no, no, no. Uh, Idun, Ascendant Idun is pretty good as well. Uh, you know, she's not, like, top of the meta anymore, but she's still pretty solid with, you know, proper build, proper setup. So, um, yeah, no, uh, complaints on that end. Um, okay, and now you can summon, now you can spark, spark on these, uh, banners now. Um, which actually could be pretty decent for, uh, people trying to fill out Pokédexes, people trying to get merges, people trying to get units in general. Uh, some of these units, most of these units are not worth sparking for, but just having the fact, or just the fact that you can spark on them now is really nice. Uh, so, you know, it's about fucking time, honestly. I'm surprised sparking is not a thing that's given to everyone, or <laughs> to every banner all the time, or even to everyone for, for that matter, honestly. Uh, but yeah, uh, overall, solid, 
solid, um, you know, Fade channel. It's not like the greatest, not mind blowing or anything, but it's solid. Uh, nothing here that was like total snooze fest necessarily. So, uh, yeah, overall pretty cool. And I love that we're getting the Hoshiden uh, Summer Festival back. I wish these were dancers. A dancing cavalry Takumi would have gone hard as fuck. But, you know, it's fine. I'm fine. We're fine. We're not fine though. But yeah, it's still it's still cool. I'm, I'm really glad they brought this theme back. And I hope they keep doing it because it's one of the more interesting ones. I guess Pirates was fun too, but they ran out of pirate ideas. Uh, so yeah, for sure, this one is gonna be a great, uh, banner. Definitely gonna be summoning on it, so, uh, yeah, stay tuned for that if that's interesting to you. But yeah, let me know how you feel about this Fate Channel. Was it, was it pretty cool? Was it a bit mid to you? Or do you think those are just garbage? Do you think those are all boring shit? Are you just waiting for CYL? CYL is happening in less than a month. It's happening this month now, so, uh, yeah, pretty in exciting stuff going on. Uh, so, yeah, if you're interested in, um, you know, my thoughts and stuff, stay tuned, because it's going to get interesting. So, yeah, that about covers this, uh, reaction to the latest Fade Channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.